Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called the Matre D, which I actually saw over on my good buddy Finn Pyre's channel a while ago. This was a game that was made for Ludum Dare 35 in 72 hours, so that's like a really, really quick amount of time for those of you who know anything about game dev. And apparently it's a puzzle platformer where you stretch your body to get guests to their seats or something like that. It's really weird looking, but I'm very excited to play it because it has been getting a lot of traction recently. A lot of people like this one, and it's been recommended a number of times. So let's go ahead and get started. So he plays this little guy, the Matro D. He's basically like the manager of a restaurant. So use A and D to move and space to jump. Pretty basic controls. I'm stepping on this table here, which is uh, probably not sanitary. That's, that's probably bad for a restaurant review. That's okay. So we go to the exit. Very easy. This is just basically the tutorial. Help diners to their seats. All right. Well, that's easy enough to do. Oh, hello, lady. Nice Marge Simpson hairdo you got going. <laughs> All right. So she's standing on her head, which is, once again, you know, we're, this is how we set ourselves apart. We are not like those other restaurants. We put Why? our guests on our heads, and it's, you know, very hospitable. And I, Oh, I like his dangly arms. Look at his little dangly arms going back and forth. That's adorable. <laughs> All right, so she looks happy. Although, wh why are you standing on your seat? Also unsanitary. Once again, guys, I guess they just don't care about that type of stuff in France. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to France. I did get to go to France a while ago. But uh, this one looks like there's going to be two people and spikes to get over. What kind of restaurant? What kind of restaurant are we running here? Why are there spikes on the floor? Holy shit. <laughs> uncouth. That was uncouth of you, Pierre. Why would you do such a thing? All right. So, uh, don't jump in the spikes is the first rule of Fight Club. Uh, we should probably follow that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you have uh, the same voice as everyone else, lady. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. Indeed. Yes. Yes. So. <laughs> I like that the short guy has, like, the taller chair, so he's eye-level with his date. Hope you guys have a wonderful dinner on that Tetris-ass-looking table over there. What is that supposed to be? It, once again, guys, it's this New Age French cuisine. It's all more about the presentation than the food itself. Oh, by Jove! By, oh, good God, I'm bad at jumping, apparently. Sorry, sir, we've plummeted to our death. You're going to have to wait for another dinner reservation. All right, so we got to really time those jumps to be, like, on the edge of the spike pits. I'm not good at jumping over spikes. I don't know why. Something about them psychs me out a little bit. I've been playing platformers for, like, 25 years of my life, and, and for whatever reason, I'm terrible at them still. So use arrow keys to extend. So this is what I was talking about, guys. So we can actually... Oh god, that looks so disturbing. We can we can extend a number of times. Oh, he sounds like a balloon or something like that. <laughs> it's like a, a rubber ball. Oh god. Oh, and that's the farthest we can go. And he goes, oh, 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 so French of me. All right, use arrow keys to extend. So then we can do that. Oh, apparently I just have to poke my head into the doorway. That's good. You know, any time you see someone's creepy freaking whatever crooked man head sticking out through a doorway, you know they're just trying to get to the exit. That's all they're trying to do. They're not a horrifying creature from hell. Press Q or E to contract. Okay. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. What good does that do me? Ugh. Okay. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, what? how is it different than if I'm just doing... Okay, I... I don't know how that's any different than using the down key, but still, that's fine. Oh, am I supposed to do something different here? Oh! Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay, so I have to get this guy... I see. I see now. See, if I do that, he just stays on my head area. But here, I can move him over to my ass. Okay, or not. I'm just terrible at this game. I'm awful already. Oh! No, I, I solved it, guys. I swear. I have a brain. There's a brain in here. And then I see what I have to do. Yeah! Pull myself across. Feels nice! Yeah, it certainly does. Lotion keeps your skin supple. Stretch, stretchy. Oh, God. What What kind of game is this becoming? <laughs> oh, God. That sounds so disturbing. All right. So, not, not that I'm going to judge him much, but, you know. Ah, oh, there we go. So we have to use our face, you know, just slam it on the table to get up onto some of these platforms. <laughs> Once again, not the most sanitary restaurant. We just have the Matre D sliding his face along everything here. 
and then we contract. Ah, there we go. All right, so I see I see what I have to do now. I'm getting used to the mechanics. It's a nice little like slow way to get into the game. It's very very tutorial driven so far, which I'm fine with because obviously I'm horrible. I'm doing really bad at this. But uh, mmm, exquisite. I'm still feeling exquisite inside, despite the fact that I've fallen into spike pits a number of times in my very dangerous restaurant. So we have to go up and over and then jump on that and then suck our body in. Oh god, the lotion makes such disturbing noises. Alright, there we go. And then this guy, of course you have to be difficult and be over by here. Jove. By Jove, yes, by Jove. Why are you being a dick? And How are these people getting in here? Why are you up there? I don't see a doorway over there. Freaking weirdo. And we just got an extra lotion for no particular reason, except to keep our skin supple, as the game said. Oh god, it makes it sound so disturbing. Alright, poke our face into that lotion. Grab that one. I don't know how many levels are in this game, but it's it's a pretty cool mechanic so far. I, I really like it, despite the fact that it's very odd and strange, but... You know, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not here to judge the game itself. I'm not here to judge Mr. Mathradi. I'm just here to serve guests, as is my job. Alright. Oh, that was a nice and easy one. There was, like, no guests there, so that's fine. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get more of this farting lotion. My favorite brand of lotion. Fartre lotion. Wee oui, wee, oui. ho ho. Alright, so, now we can go ahead and get Mr. Smallman here. Come here, Mr. Smallman. I, I don't know if that's your real name. Smallman, actually. Peter Smallman of the Smallman Enterprises. All right. What do I have to do here? Oh, there we go. No, not that way. God damn it, Smallman. Get off of me, man. Come on. This is a business I'm trying to run. Get... Oh, my gosh. Oh, I see what I have to do. No, that wasn't what I have to do. God, penis. All right. Now, there we go. I see there's a method to the madness, guys. It's very strange what you have to do to get the guests up here. But once you figure it out, then it makes it a lot easier. Well, obviously, if you don't figure anything out in life, then it's not easy. But they, shut up, me. I'm just trying to make this a life lesson about squishy lotion and stretchy bodies. I feel like, you know, if I was a guest here, and I was standing on one of these ledges... And I just saw this fucking horror movie face, like, slide over the edge here, like, I'm here to seat you, ma'am. Like, I, this is a... this is an odd thing. I just also noticed that his arms all limp and dangly even when he's long. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. And we are in a strange predicament here where our head is. We are looking straight up something there. <laughs> this lady, uh... This lady, um, or I mean, I guess this guy, the Metro D, is getting the Eiffel. I was going to say, this lady's getting some special service right now. Oh, come on, stop getting... This lady needs to stop touching my ass. That's all that's got to happen here. Oh, okay, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out this time, guys. Yes, there we go. No, that's not what we want to do. Fudge! Balls! What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'll figure it out eventually. I swear. I swear I'm not bad at video games, I promise. Oh my god, what... <laughs> I didn't know you could bend like this. Holy shit, what is happening? How am I even moving? My head is sliding along the ground. This is disturbing. This is some horror movie-ass shit here. It seriously is. This seriously is a very strange game. I really like it a lot, though. The mechanic is cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, let's go pelvis first. You know, if you see someone's dick coming through a doorway, that's when you know that they're having a good time. I, I don't know anymore, guys. I just, this game makes me question life, but in some of the best ways possible, of course. <laughs> all right, Mr. Smallman, you may be seated, and you're very welcome for all my help. I expect a gigantic tip from this, because this is not easy. You guys don't understand how hard it is to be a Masradi, who's also trying to be the best rubber man in the entire world. All right? It's tough. It puts a strain on your body. You have to get rid of... You gotta have all these painful surgeries. You gotta get rid of your spine. It's just... It's madness, okay? Anyone who's attempting to do this, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you and your craft. And I don't know how to get across here without dying. I think... Doing that? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. I'm becoming a master at being a stretchy, stretchy man. That's something I never thought I'd say in my life. That's a weird thing to say. I'm sorry. Okay, for this one, it looks like I have to uh, shape myself like a, um, a phallus and shove myself in that hole to get that squishy, squishy lotion. You know, just like in real life, like they teach in middle school sex ed or whatever. I don't know. I don't know when they teach you sex ed stuff anymore. People are very, very strange. But... <laughs> Yes, you're very welcome. I'm just talking about sex ed here, sir. And it looks like we have the last guess over here. You're the same guy. 
You are the same guy as who I seated below. Are you guys twin brothers? Yes, my name is Franklin Smallman, and this is my brother Frederick Smallman. And we love this dining establishment. Oh, God. Except when you do this and stare deeply into my eyes. <laughs> Good God. That, like I said, guys, that is horrifying. That is absolutely terror material. Holy shit. And there's two more lotions up there, but it doesn't look like I need to get them because all I have to do is, uh, is this. Like, really long, and then just stretch my face into the door. How does anyone get out of there? There's that taller guest there. How does he leave the restaurant ever? Press C to toggle crutch. What? Okay. Oh. All right. Can I do anything? I can stretch. Oh, okay, so I can stretch from, like, ground level. That's useful. That's weird that they'd only teach you that this far into the game. But, uh, I guess, you know, whatever. Like I said, does a decent job of tutorialing me so far. I like the game. I like the progression of this game. The puzzles get a little bit harder, but they're not, uh, super, super difficult overall. Like, with a little bit of fiddling around, then you can solve anything. And you don't have to be exact, either. That's the other thing I kind of like about this game. It's like a puzzle game for beginners. Now, that looks like a bomb. I'm assuming the bomb is bad. Otherwise, there would be no reason for it to be sitting on the table there. So, we're going to skip the bomb. We're not going to die from the bomb, because that's, that's a rookie mistake. You are dignified like the worm. Okay, yes, because all worms are so, so <laughs> dignified. Ho, 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 yes. The dignified worm, yes. Uh, yes, be our guest. All right, so um, I need to get up on this table. What? Okay, so all these guests are already seated, so I don't really have to do much about them. Can I jump over this? I'm so afraid I'm going to die. What, what do I do here? Can I... Yeah, see, I can't go far enough with just the one lotion. Oh, God, I'm going to die, guys. I'm going to die because I know I'm bad. Oh, my God. Okay, I had to use, like, the contract at the last second, and that was risky to try to grab that lotion down there. Actually, let's just go under. That's so much safer. Where are we? We are under a woman in, <laughs> in the strangest of predicaments. Clearly, she doesn't mind. She still looks happy as a clam sitting there, just like, Oh, yes, I love the breadsticks at this establishment. They're great, but... Oh, good God. <laughs> this game is so weird. I love it. I really do. So we've made it past the gauntlet of ladies, and now we, uh, yeah, we stretch ourselves, I guess, into this part, and, uh, what, what am I doing here? Oh, I had to go, I had to crouch, and then I can slide my way through, shimmy sham it through. Magnifique. Great, yes, manif magnifique. I'm, I'm very oddded out by this game. I really am. It's a very strange game, but like I said, it's super fun. All right, and we've collected all the lotions now, and all we have to do is find our guest, who is this lady way up here. Way to make it super freaking difficult, lady. I know you're the guest, and the customer is, like, normally right, but that's wrong of you. That is so wrong of you. I just bopped your face. I just bopped your head off the top of the freaking ceiling. That's what you get, lady. That's what you get for messing with the Matra D. You have no idea how long I went to Matra D school just to serve stupid snooty butt faces like you. There we go. And now you're gonna get, yeah, you're gonna sit there. Yes, I am too kind, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna like it, okay? So, <laughs> so I don't, like I said before, guys, I don't know how many levels there are in this game, but it's really, really fun so far. I like it a lot. I'm probably gonna stop this video here because I don't know if the mechanics actually evolve beyond this. I can't imagine that they could too much more, but the puzzles I'm feeling are just gonna get more and more complicated. So if you guys feel up to the challenge of playing this game, it's a free download. I'll put the link down in the description below so that you can check it out. But it's very, very fun. Awesome jam entry. I don't know how this did in the Ludum Dare challenge, but I'm assuming it probably did pretty well because the sound design is great the puzzle design is great the mechanics are really funny and goofy and everything about this game is really really silly and that makes for a very fun gaming experience in my uh in my opinion so anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit the like button share the video in favor also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya bye bye Sir,